Well, hello everybody. I'm back. Uh, I think my mic's on. Yeah, it's good. We're good. Sorry about that. A little bit of a snafu. So today I'm going to do a video on my EDC. And I've, I've been into EDC videos since 2009, maybe 2008. I love them. It's kind of a fad back in the day. I don't know if it's a big thing now, but I know there's still EDC dumps which stands for everyday carry items that you would carry for uh, your personal use on a daily basis. And I've always wanted to do one myself, so that is what we're gonna do today. Uh, I did get up late this morning. Well, early, I got up at 7.30, but that's late for me. I usually get up at 4.30 or five o'clock. Um, <clears throat> so I didn't do a morning coffee, which I was gonna do, so I apologize for that. But in any case, we'll get into it now. How I go about my EDC is based on the seasons, really. I tend to have a lighter EDC in the spring, late spring and summer. And it's funny that I'm doing this now because I'll be changing my EDC probably mid-October, uh, if I had to guess, mid-October, November, around there, early November. So this stuff is going to change. So I'll be doing another EDC video very relatively soon to be honest but this is kind of what i carry it's really my work edc sometimes <clears throat> sometimes uh if i'm going on a hike or something it'll it'll vary but i do have an honorable mention for my pipe smokers uh i'll get into that in a minute so but anyway first things first i got an iphone iphone 8 plus this case is a crappy case but it's bailed out many drops it, it's pretty decent with that but it's got a little stand on it 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 doesn't uh doesn't do too much but anyway it's a phone it's a case nothing fancy there so we'll get out of that and the next are my keys which you know it's just a lantern i'm a dolphins fan this was given to me one christmas oh this is all this is all screwy this is all uh because i'm a star wars fan this has got a uh Dolphins logo, and then it says, uh, uh, <clears throat> play like a Jedi, and it's got, uh, Dolphins Empire, which is rather amusing, considering the Dolphins haven't won anything in, like, almost 20 years, so, that's the simple stuff that isn't really that important, and the other thing I'll, I'll mention is my mask, this is the one I use, uh, daily at work, this is from, uh, Recycled Firefighter. Is where I got this and again I'll leave the links down below to all this stuff I don't know if he's still at the time of this video selling these they might even be different I got a few other versions that he made too so that'll be uh, in the description we'll see when I put the description it might be completely different you might not be able to get these but I'm pretty sure he's still got these and they might have changed so this was one of the first this was the first batch that he did it's not bad it's kind of thick um, little too thick and the, the straps kind of wore out a little bit so but otherwise it's really really good it's not bad i gotta wash it uh the next thing i guess we'll go with this is uh my magpul sunglasses um these are pretty good i like them i've dropped them a dozen times i'm not sure if you can see this here let me see if i can punch that in the screw is actually popping out so i gotta fix that um but they take abuse pretty well they fit well. I like them. Um, I'll, again, I'll put the, the link for these. Pretty good glasses. Magpul. Um, and then uh, let's go with this. This is my Twisby Eco Go fountain pen. This is the one I use. I use this at work all the time. Um, this is a fine point, I believe. Uh, yes. And of course, I got the orange ink in there, especially now. I use this quite a bit now. I got another one, as you guys might have seen. Uh, I got the cement color version of this. I like the the Twisbees because the way they load up is very easy. You just twist this and draw in all the ink. And they're great to write with. I like writing with these better than a ballpoint pen. Although, I'm going to kind of be, be a hypocrite in a minute when I get to another pen that I have. But this is what I use daily at work it's a really good pen i like the twisby eco 
And if something happened to this, I think, I, I can't remember what the price was, but I don't know if it's between 20 or 40 bucks, but if, if this were to break or I lost it, it wouldn't be the end of the world. Like it's not that fancy of a, a fountain pen. And writing with fountain pens is pretty cool, I think, actually. But anyway, the next up is, this is from Millspec. Um, and this is the COVID key. This is one of the first ones that came out. I've been using this and I'm on the fence if I even like this. Now it's brass because it's supposed to be good for antibacterial and it's supposed to kill it and stuff. Um, it's good to open doors. I'll give you that. It's, it's really good to pull the doors and, and do that. And even this little notch here, I don't know if you can see that. This little notch is good for opening little, little things too. Uh, I've had some success with using touch screens with this end. Like this works at uh, one of my banks, this will work. At another bank, it won't work at all. It's, it's tough, so I have to kind of use the end of the, like it just doesn't work all that well. So the other thing is like if after I wash my hands and I grab this and I go to get the door, this kind of digs in this loop. Um, it's not a bad loop, but it's not the most comfortable thing. So, and I'm on the fence if I'm really gonna keep carrying this. Um, I like it and I hate it. I'm on the, I, I might get another one from somewhere else to try, maybe a bigger one. Uh, it's not bad for pushing doors too, like you can push a door, but it's kind of short and sometimes you don't get the right leverage with it. But overall, I'm satisfied with it. I'm just not sure. And the good thing is it's made in the USA, so I love that about it. But I'm not sure if I'm going to continue doing this. We'll see. I'll probably carry it for the winter, and then next spring I might ditch it. We'll see. I'm not, I'm not completely sold on that. So next up we'll talk about is my wallet. And this is the Ridge wallet. And I've had this for probably, I want to say since they did their... Kickstarter, this is at least five to six, maybe seven years old. So you can see right there, the ridge. Uh, and as you can see, this is how many credit cards, IDs, and everything else that I got in there. And it holds quite a bit. Um, and there's the elastic, I don't know if you can see. And that's after so many years. It's frayed a little bit. I don't know if you can see. It's frayed a little bit on both sides. But otherwise, it's still good. I have another one. It actually opens. I think it comes up this way. Like instead of this little notch here where you push your cards out right over here. There's like a little notch right there. And you push your, your cards out. I'm not going to show those. But I think the other one I have goes like this. You push down here and the cards come up that way. Um, it's RF. Is it RFID or whatever? It's uh, it blocks those things from you know people trying to steal your ID or something like this. And I can contest to that because my ID at work, I have to hit this little notch thing uh, with all my cards and stuff, so my ID can kind of buzz me through. If I go up to it and, and hit it like this where the sensor is, this blocks it. So it does work, and you can't even do the edges like you can't do here. It blocks it there too. So. It's a really good wallet. There's only one drawback, and that is the money clip. Because I like money clips. This, kind of a drawback. Now, I don't. I have a lot of money. <laughs> I got $400 here, and this is not to brag about money or whatever. It's to show you that when you go out, you gotta be mindful of this, because this is what happens. Like, it's not made to hold a large amount of cash. I mean, you could do it where it's half in there and and like that but it doesn't it's not that secure um so you, you kind of want to i would say keep less than i'd say 100 200 dollars the max anything more than this you're kind of crazy i mean you could probably get a an elastic band tie it and kind of you know put it here and then kind of do an elastic band around it if you want but i don't recommend that that's the one drawback back is is the money but otherwise, it's good quality, takes a beating. It's very comfortable. I keep it in my front pocket all the time. You know it's there. It's, it's not a problem. It's very, it's probably the best wallet I've ever had. And I've had many of them. And, you know, I, the only thing that's made me from not switching is, well, because it's such a good wallet, it's so comfortable, it's so easy to use. The only thing that makes me want to switch is to just to try something different. 
uh, just to say, hey, I got a different wallet, you know, something new. But this thing I've had for a very long time. I highly recommend it. I know others have done uh, videos on this, um, but I've had this since the start that it started, and I can contest that they're really good. I mean, there's a little bit of, there's like a piece of, you can't see that. There's like a, I doubt you can see that. Let me see if I can do that for you. There's like a, a little piece of felt up here to kind of give their little bite of a purchase for the money. Uh, that's coming off a little bit, but otherwise, I mean, this is really, really good. And the bands themselves, this is one of the points of, uh, that I thought would crap the, the bed, but it's not. I mean, I could probably fit, you know, there's a band here too, right there. That holds up pretty well. I could probably fit another, a bunch of cards in there. I could probably get a, a lot more in there. This thing holds more than you think it will, uh, and it's great. So, moving on from that, because I don't want this to be the longest video. You have guys seen this, put that over there, and that is my leather cover for my field notes. As you can see here, I've got my Cantina Cast uh, business cards here. Um, so there you go. There you go. This is the podcast that started it all. And they fit right here, pretty good. Uh, you can fit something else there too. It doesn't have a pen loop, which I thought it did when I looked at the, uh, on the uh, Amazon link. I'm like, oh, there's a, cause they had a pen sitting there like that, but nope. And of course, you know, field notes here. You can't go wrong with field notes. I could fit another one in here over on this side if I wanted. Uh, I could put one there. Or you could you could open this up and have it like a book. When you open it up, it's there. But I kind of like it on the side right here. And this leather is really good. It's it's uh, breaking in pretty good. I like it. Uh, smells good. It smells like a... Well, it smells like leather, but it smells like a catcher's mitt. It reminds me of, of that. Like that kind of material. Uh, just a little finer. But this is... Pretty damn good. I like having this around because I've been writing all sorts of ideas for podcasting, subjects for this channel, and uh, many other things. As a matter of fact, I just was brainstorming this morning on where I'm going with the podcast network uh, for EGM. Uh, so I've been working on that. But finally, we got this. This is a... What is this? This is the, the Pilot G2 Mini, and this is orange, so it writes orange. Uh, this pen is awesome. I like having this in my little uh, notebook there. I'm very impressed with uh, this gel pen. Gel pens are pretty good to, to, to have and I love that this is orange, this is orange, this writes orange, this writes orange. Almost the same same color really. This is darker but it's still pretty cool that I have that and I recommend these pens. I got a uh, pack of three um, on Amazon. I, I got to look for the larger version just to have that. I got a lot of pens at work and I write a lot. So, you know, it is what it is there. So that's pretty much my EDC for every day going to work in the spring and summer. When it comes to winter and fall, I tend to wear a jacket more. So I fit more items and I carry my bag. It's funny because when summer comes, spring comes, I ditch my, my bag that I use for work and, and to bring other items with me. I did use it once when I brought the, did the vehicle vlog. I did put my camera in there, use it kind of as a camera bag too. And, but I'll talk about that down the line. Um, next EDC thing, you guys will like that. It's a little more in depth because there's gonna be more things. I won't mention my keys, my wallet next time, or my sunglasses, uh, or my mask. You know, the simple things. I'll get into the newer items, so to speak. But there's been an addition to my EDC to an extent, this is more like a car EDC. There's like, there's like a tear. It's like what's on me, but then there's stuff in my car because I always have access to my car, obviously. I'm always there. So you've seen this before on the channel. Uh, my Rat Rays tobacco pouch. And of course, I put my pipe here. Uh, this is my little pipe. You guys seen this before. This is the uh, uh, Missouri Mansion hard, hardwood. I love this little pipe for a 15 minute smoke, cause I get like a 15 minute break, I get a half hour lunch, this is ideal for me. Um, the only thing is I get like, you can see, I get some tobacco that comes in there. 
I gotta get pipe cleaners. I f keep forgetting to bring pipe cleaners with me when I go. Duh. You know, you'd think you'd remember that. But this pouch is great. It's amazing. I love it. And of course, I got my Russ's ice cream sundae in there. I don't know. You can probably see that. But this pouch is really, really good. It's good quality. The leather's great. Now, you can fit this pipe in here. I just choose not to. I just want to have quick access to it. And these, of course, they're uh, magnetic, which makes it even cooler to me. Like these, these little clasp here, it's magnetic. So I just put this pipe in there like that. I leave it right in my console of my Jeep. Uh, it sits there, no problems at all. When I want to have a smoke, I just grab the pipe, you know, scoop into the, the bag, and it's easy peasy. It's really, it's really great for like a car pipe. Um, so to speak. I mean, smoking a pipe while I drive might not be ideal. I wouldn't, I probably wouldn't do that. But while I'm on my lunch, I tend to do that. Next up is, I'll show you what my tamper is. Uh, it's a little nail. That's it. Little, I don't know if you can see that. I think it was too close. There we go. Whoops. Camera's having a, Let's see if we can get it here. It's not lining up. But in any case, it's just a nail. Just a regular old nail I use to tamp it. It fits perfectly. It's got the lace little head there. I got to uh, flatten this end out at some point. I'm going to flatten it. So I have like a pick. I mean, this works fine too, but I'm going to flatten it a little bit so I don't cut myself or something stupid on that, which is very possible. So there's that, this, and then of course you've all seen my other pipe lighter, my Zippo here. It's one of my favorites. It's a great one. Uh, got a lot of gunk on it. And I got a I gotta refill uh, that because I'm already out. So that's pretty much my EDC. I love these Zippos, you can't go wrong. Uh, so yeah, that's my EDC for the summer of 2020. Not that thrilling, not that uh, exciting, but it gets the job done. I, uh, everything when I need it is there. And uh, I, this is the newest addition really uh, in the pipe so to speak, but this is like a car EDC, like it's lunch break kind of thing. This is new, just sits right in my pocket. It's very comfortable, doesn't hurt, even with the pen in there. The pen's small enough, you know, it sits, sits in here, it's small enough. Right here, it doesn't, you're not gonna squish the pen or break it, you, it sits high up enough, you, you should be all right. I've sat on it at work with my work pants. I'm not worried at all, I like it, so. But anyway, that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you for joining me. I went longer than I thought. It's almost 18 minutes here. Um, so maybe later tonight I'll do another video on podcasting, but, uh, but this is what my EDC one was. So thank you for indulging me for my first EDC video that I've ever done. I'm kind of happy and excited about that. that uh, hopefully it interests you guys. Uh, let me know, what's your EDC? Uh, shoot back at me, especially my pipe smokers. What do you guys carry for your EDC? Uh, what is it? There and Tabac had a great pipe kit thing that gave me some ideas and I might use that for my car pipe uh, things, my kit for that. So I'm going to work on that probably next month too. We'll see. Uh, but anyway, hope you guys are enjoying your long weekend and I will see you guys later tonight.